Welcome to my channel. My name is Valencia, and I'm a mom who's trying to get her family to financial freedom. I'm paid two times per month for my part-time job. All of my other income comes from side hustles, but today, you guys, I wanted to stuff my side hustle envelopes. Also go through a quick budget of what I made and how I'm allocating those funds. Um, it was for the week of March 14th through the 20th. So let's go ahead and do this quick budget. So I didn't do a dash once again. Um, Etsy's been coming through quite a bit for me to uh, be able to focus on that <laughs> instead of uh, spending so much time dashing. Now I know that um, in order to have money for the wedding, um, I'm getting married in May, we're going to Vegas to get married, our family's going, I'm going to have to make sure that I am dashing to make sure we have money while we're there because we want to do some things, see some things eat at some places, and also I do play slots, um, and my honey and I were even thinking about um, hitting a table or two, so we'll see how, you know, things go um, for that. So, uh, first things first, let's take a look here. Um, I, I guess I gro grabbed the wrong marker because that one is not working. I just was checking to see if I grabbed something that was actually going to write okay and how about this pen <laughs> uh, oh who wants to do some work today okay this is a different color but it's okay this little kitty pen it's actually my son's he left it in in my uh, little bucket here so and it writes blue blue ink but it'll be fine we just got to get through this right all right so from etsy i made let's see here All right, little kitty, good job. 100 and $70. Woohoo! Okay, so let me just, I feel it's really important for me to express my gratitude because, you know, is this, this is a not a part of life that has to be happening, you know, and people are being supportive. Uh, yes, they are getting something in return by purchasing something, but I think that um, for us, it's our dream, it's our um, ideas and our heart and our soul and just like creativity being put out there and people are like, oh, I like it. So by people continuing to support our shop, man, we are able to enjoy um, this process of just being creators. So we really do appreciate everyone who's purchased from our shop, liked any of our items on our shop, um, reached out to us on Instagram, um, Big Cartel. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so thank you. Next up, taxes is getting $17. I've um, shared with this with you all plenty of times. I do 10% uh, of my uh, income. And the reason being is because typically I get a tax return and yes, we are um, working on the business side of things and trying to get that separated from personal versus business. So we don't know how things are going to go. We are going to continue on putting something away for taxes because it's better than nothing. Um, so if we do at any point have to pay, then we know that we have something set up already to go. Products is getting $43 and we have been purchasing new items for our shop. Um, we've been making sure to try to update as much as we can. There are some things that people really like um, and they take a lot longer to create but our shop is budget friendly like we're trying not to make sure things cost so much but some of the items that we've created they take a lot longer to make and they the um the supplies to make them actually cost more so we're trying to reevaluate figure out what our plan of action is for that but shipping is getting 45 dollars and also if you are a shop owner um and you have 
the shipping game down pack let me know um, I know that when Cass and I started our shop we were so excited about being able to just have um, you know shipping at a really low cost because we were able to ship things in just envelopes with no tracking and then it got to the point where um, you know, uh, we did have one person say they never received an item. So I said, oh, we're not doing that ever again. <laughs> like Everything we send, we have to have tracking. And so it does cost more to send items um, with tracking. And it does uh, cost a little more to make sure we have the shipping supplies um, to keep the items safe to be sent to somebody. Um, so we're trying to figure everything out. Least expensive way to do these things. Um, so we can keep the costs down for our customers because if, if the cost, you know, for the items we're selling is reasonable, then people are going to purchase those items because we're once again in a budgeting community. So they don't want to go too crazy, or at least they want to have the option to have a couple of different items and say, okay, well, I can afford that. Um, so if you have some tips for shipping, like how we can send at least expensive ideally with tracking let us know all right shipping supplies is getting ten dollars and i just need a couple of items um for the shipping supplies i do have some already um, but you know i'd like to stay a little bit on top of that the equipment is getting its normal five bucks and i may need to increase this just because I have a couple of things that I need to replace and update so I can make sure that our products are really, um, you know, in tip-top shape before we send them out. And this week from um, Side Hustles, this is savings because originally I was going to put it towards savings. But I realized when I was looking at my budget where I stand right now uh, for my portion of bills and expenses, um, I do need to be putting some money away for the bills and expenses. So this $50 is actually going to go towards the bills and expenses and not savings. I wish it was going to savings just because, like I said, we're getting married in May and I want to have some funds <laughs> for basic. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side here so I can reference it. And I will put my little... away and my hand my little that's Victor's pin so I'm gonna tell him that I used it today he'll probably be really excited but let's count out the money it should be this should be a hundred and seventy dollars so we have 50 70 90 110 130 140 145 150 155 160 170 171 72 73 74 75 that doesn't seem right I'm counting wrong. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 165, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Okay, I don't know where I got that extra $5 from. <laughs> but hopefully um, this is actually 170 and our numbers are accurate. Let's go over a little bit because I'm going to use this binder and I hope the money is still in frame you know I I can't see my camera so I'm hoping that it's in frame I didn't put up any markers to tell me where to stop so <laughs> hopefully you can see some of it all right so first up taxes taxes is getting $17 so we have 10 16, 17, and taxes is coming along pretty well. Um, every time this envelope reaches $100, I do put that uh, cash into the bank. So you'll see $200 is actually um, in the bank. And we're adding the $17, so we have 200, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 249 dollars in taxes ready to go um, if we have to make any tax payments for our side hustle. So that's good to go. 
And then we will grab our Hustle Hard Finder. And let's see, products we said was getting $43. 20, 40, 41, 42, 43. All right. Shipping is getting $45, 20, 40, 45. All right, and then shipping supplies getting $10. So we have five and 10. And equipment getting five dollars and it has this raggedy five in there I mean I wanted to exchange that the last week but I didn't and it's probably gonna stay in there because I probably won't remember to do it <laughs> all right so that's it for this binder and then we have this um, $50 here and that is actually going into my expenses envelope um, like I said, I wish I was putting it towards, um, I wish I was putting towards savings, but, or sinking funds, but here we are. It's going into our expenses, um, so I'll make sure I'll have that for when it's time to stuff my weekly expenses. But that's it, guys. That's everything. We've gone ahead and gone over the budget, which was um, a fight to begin with because uh, my, my marker wasn't working, my pen wasn't working, but I came through with uh, this cute little kitty pen. Um, I actually got that at Dollar Tree. I don't know if I've mentioned that. It does write in blue ink. It's cute, pretty cute though. Um, and uh, you guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All of the things that can keep us connected and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Feel free to check out our Etsy shop, Big Cartel, or Instagram. The shop name is Salencia and Cassie J Creates, and I will link them down below. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.